Hey, all of my people that are watching. It's Pirate Girl. So after my confessions under a tree video, <laughs> these lovely people, Dave and Unka, contacted me. They live on their boat without an engine in Alaska and they cruise around Alaska, which is pretty fucking cool. It's so cool that this made a connection, right? A real life connection with real life people. Hi, I'm Anke. And I'm Dave. Here's a shout out to Davina, the pirate girl from Southeast Alaska. Good to know y'all, Davina. Keep on fighting the good fight. Myself, I've got a lot of healing to do. I need to fix this boat. Somehow, Fix the boat, heal thyself. You know, when I had my boat in my 20s, I got so much confidence and competence through my boat. It was like my education. It was like my university, you know? I was 22 when I bought her. I felt like a badass. I knew myself to be a badass. And I went about in the world on my purple boat and it was fucking awesome. Well, my boat sank, right? A year after I'd bought it. And I completely rebuilt her over a bunch of years. And in doing so, I built up my mana. That's what they call it here. Tereo, the Maori language. Kia ora! How's it going? Do you want to go get some kai? I'm hanging with my fano tonight, sorry. In Tereo, it's called mana. Mana is like your spirit, but it's also like your, hmm, prestige, authority, control, power, influence, status, spiritual power, charisma. Mana. Because who the fuck am I to be talking about how we're going to save the world? Like my sister pointed out, I'm just some fucking another person with an opinion. I am a pirate. <laughs> And I feel like if I actually can accomplish this, get this boat in ship shape, get this boat sailing, that is me building up the mana for a worldwide pirate takeover. So we're gonna have to get serious. I've written a list. Okay, so these are the things I need to do. So just to get the boat moving again. So I need to cut an inch off the engine mount. So I'm going to be cutting the bottom of this off to drop the engine down. That's what I'm doing. So right now I'm just removing that piece. And then this one is actually a screw. <laughs> big ass screw. I could use a big ass screw. <laughs> I have to free up the rudder, so I have to remove that stupid fucking cheek. Do you remember this fucking thing? I never did get it ground down thin enough, so I gotta take it off. Okay, so I'm gonna make her easily mobile. I wanna clean the bottom. I want For those of you who like to get down and dirty. <laughs> Once she's mobile, then I can move her to a deeper area on a beautiful clear day, even though it's winter, it's gonna be freezing. But I wanna dive on the drop keels because this one right here wasn't working last time. They're, they're like in this casing, right? And they have to drop down like that. And because it's been up for so long, there's like barnacles and whatever in there. So it won't just easily freely drop. So I just need to work on that and get that 
um, done. So I was going to go under the boat. The back um, drop keel needs a line. The line that goes is broken. So I need to replace that line, which I can only do under the water at this point. See, it should go through that little thing. Okay, so I want to patch all of the little spots. I want to inspect the whole hull. She's made out of plywood, but there's a few spots in the paint. I think she's got like an epoxy coating or something. Anyway, I want to inspect the hull, see if there's any little spots that need fixing. Um, sand them, glass them. I've got to replace this bit of wood here. I did a little temporary fix until I can get to it properly. There's a fucking hole in my boat. <laughs> Well, it's pretty small and it doesn't go all the way through, but it's definitely a place I need to fix. I'm gonna have to get onto this shit. See if I can show you. Can you see it? So, and then I wanna sand and paint the top sides. My friend Emily told me that I could use her husband's account at the boat store, get some paint for 25% off. So that's awesome. Um, I was gonna build a mast. And then Bernard was kind of saying that I should scarf the old one together. Now I have this amazing idea where I just want to find an old wooden mast and make it fit. <laughs> um, this neighbor friend of mine. Oh look, my neighbor's back. But he mentioned that this guy, Richard, who I previously had a really fun summer fling with and we did a lot of sailing and he had his son back when, actually it was the first time that I ever sailed, Lady Rebecca was with him. Lady Rebecca's maiden voyage. Hi. She's glowing because she's having so much fun. None of us knew this rig, it's the first sail. It's a cat rig. You got a gap that you got to peek up. The boom overlaps the mast. All the ropes in brilliant condition, <laughs> as you can see. Now that's the main. We go to the foresail. <coughs> and I should ease that a bit more running downwind. We'll watch this man. This. He's such a skilled sailor. He's going to ease that foresail. It's a schooner, so it's not the main, even if you might think it was. There she goes. We've got a slight heel. We're heeling <laughs> over the light base. <laughs> now we're gonna kidnap the boat. <laughs> He's a real pirate, but you know, that kind of fucking drunk ass loser pirate, like with Anne, Bonnie, and Mary Reed, uh, when they finally got arrested, they were up on the top of their ship while all the dudes were getting wasted down below. Anne, Bonnie, and Mary Reed held off the fucking British Navy. Well, for a minute or two. <laughs> while Jack Rantham and the other dudes were down below getting wasted and being useless. He was that kind of pirate. So then in the shop, I will have the mask that I find that I'm going to change to fit this boat. Um, but then I also have all of the booms, the gaff part of the sails. They go up there like a square tan bark sails. They're pretty fucking cool. <laughs> so all of those wood things I'm going to strip down. Most of them don't have any paint on them. They're very old weathered wood. So what I'm thinking to do is soak them in linseed oil and then use an oil-based polyurethane and paint them. What do you think, Badge? Um, the bowsprit, I need to build a bowsprit. I've got the windlass to help pull up the anchor still and I just need to replace the bowsprit part. Which is interesting because I've done this exact same thing before. All of those things I'm going to do in my friend Bernard's shop, hopefully. <laughs> I'm getting ready to get serious. What I've come to realize and know is that I actually really need structure. Goals and timetables and get the shit done but also balance and nurturing and taking care of myself. 
I'm feeling it now. I'm seriously gonna start busting ass with this shit. For real, for real. Oh, my shoes, my shoes. Don't forget the shoes. Don't forget the shoes. Oh my god, seriously, I landed on like a flounder or a ray or something. Ah! Ah! Shit. Okay, this is Pirate Girl. I'll see y'all later.